Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to put together my hidden binding mini album that is a 4x6, but it's also got a scallop trim on it. So this is kind of um, a variation of my hidden binding mini albums. So to start this project, we're just going to fold our little binding, and if you've seen me do this in other videos, then you might already know what to do here. But basically we just accordion fold this, but um, you're going to keep the little quarter inch pieces flat across the bottom and then just these little half inch pieces are going to come up so we can attach our pages to those. So just continue to fold across the top here. Okay, so basically you should have a little piece that looks like this when you're done with the little quarter inch flat pieces across the back and the little pieces to attach your pages to. Okay, so now we're ready to just glue our binding together. So in these little half inch spaces we're just going to add some glue. Uh, there we go. Not too much. You don't want it to get too warped from the glue. Okay, so I'm going to just pinch those together and I'm actually going to use a clip to hold them in place. And I mentioned these clips in a previous video and I think I said they were by Dritz, but actually I think they're by Clover, which Clover I believe makes a bunch of the Dritz products if I'm not mistaken. So look for those if you're interested. While that's drying, I'll just set that aside. Now this is the binding piece that will go across the back of the book to cover the binding, so we'll just set that aside for now too. These are our pages and our cover to our book. I'll just set those aside. These little pieces right here are going to be attached to these little binding pieces here. We're going to just slide them on top and then we'll slide our pages into those. So let's go ahead and fold all of these. And you're going to want to glue that little tab right there. and just hold that in place to glue. In fact, I will oops, make sure it's not warping. I'll go ahead and put my little clamps on those and let that glue. Go ahead and continue that same process with the rest of the pieces here. Okay, so now that all of those pieces have dried, we're ready to start assembling the album. And I have only cut one piece per, per um, page in the album. You could put them back to back if you wanted it to be heavier, but these are such cute papers that I didn't think I needed to have them doubled. So I'm just gonna take each page, and this is the cover of my album, and I'm just gonna glue that to the binding here. So let me just kind of scoot those things out of the way. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right here on the binding. And just go ahead and stick that right in there. Just making sure that it stays nice and square with the sides of the binding and that it just hits right at the crease there. And then I'm just going to continue on. Let's see, make sure that I get all these going the right way. Yeah, I wanted that to be forward. So then I'm just going to keep gluing these in. And for these cards, instead of using three by or four by six cards, which you could certainly do if you have a bunch of Project Life cards or a cut apart sheet like I designed for Echo Park, um, you could certainly use those here. But I went ahead and cut the rounded corner pieces out of pattern paper that are included in the file. And I just like to kind of make sure it folds in each direction with that binding so that I know that my book will work really nice when I'm done. Okay, so now I'm just going to take these um, little covering pieces and slide them down over my pages. Now at this point you can decide after you put your outer um, binding piece on, you can decide if you want to have the, the scallops in here or not. If you do, go ahead and slide one of these on and you'll just cover it up with that front piece. If you don't want it on this front panel and the back panel, you don't have to double up on these. So you would only need to cut three of these. So I'm going to start with that and I'm going to see how it looks before I add one to the cover in the back. And I just like to kind of make sure it folds in each direction with that binding so that I know that my book will work really nice when I'm done. 
Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and put the scallop pieces onto our album. And I've given you five in the file. If you don't want to use all five of them, you certainly don't need to. Um, you'll probably want to use them on the interior three pages. And you'll need to decide if you want to double up with the scalloped um, insert and the binding. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So if you want if you want to have the scallop on all of your pages, you could go ahead and install it on the cover and all the inside pages. But on the cover, that means that your binding piece is going to overlap that and you'll have to match that up precisely. And that might be nice. It might be nice to have that extra thick binding, but also might be a little difficult to match that up exactly. So I think what I'm going to do is just skip that piece on the cover. Oops and just start with my inside pages because I want that cute look in there. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this over my page. Don't put your glue on until you've got it into the book. And then go ahead and put a little adhesive down in that binding area. You want it to stick nicely down in there. And you can even just pull your piece up a little bit. And put a little glue up in there. And then go ahead and slide it all the way down and glue it in place. There we go. Okay, just slide that into place and then push down on that glue. And you can slide a little more glue under these scalloped edges if you want, or maybe that's, that's enough the way it is. So then just repeat that process for the other two pages. Okay, so now we're done inserting those three covering pieces here at the binding, and we're ready to just put our little binding cover on. Um, I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of ink to this piece before we do that, because I like the way that looks. Here on these little kind of accent, these little scallops. And you could do that to all of your little pieces before you assemble your album. I just kind of wanted to show you how I do that. I use these little uh, color box chalk inks. They work really well. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and glue that on. So I'm going to just put some glue on this piece. Okay. And then just get ready to sandwich that in. And you'll just need to kind of fiddle with that, make sure that it's in the right place. Make sure everything's nice and square. Okay, so this little album is now done. So it's really, really cute. So um, like I mentioned, you can slide one of these pieces over the cover, but I was afraid that would be a little too bulky. So I didn't do that. But um, your album's done and ready to go, so now you're ready to embellish it and add pictures and those kinds of things. So I hope you enjoy this little scalloped hidden binding mini album. Have a great day. Bye-bye.